Welcome back everybody. We're gonna get into a body weight only home workout. So if you've been joining us, this is Train Enable where we help struggling gym goers become fit, happy, and confident through custom tailored workouts. This is Quarantine Fit 40 and in light of Memorial Day on Monday, we're going to do what they call a hero workout. And a hero workout is where we commemorate the life of a fallen soldier who made the ultimate sacrifice in battle. So this one is called Zachary Tellier and he lost his life in September of 2007 um, due to wounds he sustained on a patrol in Afghanistan. So the way the workout is structured, it's kind of like the 12 days of Christmas um, song, if you've heard that. So we're gonna do one movement and that'll be your first round. And then you can do the first movement, a new movement, and that'll be your second round. And if you're like, I have no idea what is happening, don't worry, because we're gonna go over it right now. So first up on the list, we're gonna do 10 burpees. And this will be the first movement you do every single round. So the burpee, Again, you're gonna lay down, stand up, jump, all right? If that's too extreme where your arms just give out, what you can do is the down up instead. So hands come to the ground, feet shoot back, then I'll stand, okay? So once I've done my 10 burpees, that's round one, done. Then I'm going to do 10 more burpees as I start my second round, and we're gonna do 25 push-ups as that kind of add-on movement. So push up, hands are underneath the shoulders, belly's nice and tight. I lower one piece, raise in one piece. If I need some help, I can lift up those toes and do the push up from the knee. Once we've done those 25 push ups, our second round is done. So now we're gonna do 10 burpees, the 25 push ups, but now we're adding on 50 lunges. So there's two ways we can do the lunge. You can do what they call just the forward lunge. I think of this as a normal lunge. Big step forward, hips come straight down. I stand back to normal, switch to the other side. Sometimes people find it more comfortable to step back and then down. Whatever feels better for you, that's what we're trying to do. So once we've done those 50 lunges, we're going on to the next round. You're still doing 10 burpees, 25 push-ups. 50 lunges, but now on that fourth round, we're doing 100 sit-ups. So this is where it kind of starts to get real because the volume is adding up. So for the sit-up, you need to have your feet planted, which will use a little bit of your quad. Um, if you go into kind of that butterfly stretch, it'll use more of your lower abs. So shoulders touch the ground. I always think of touching the hands to the floor. Throw the hands, touch the floor in front of my feet, okay? So that would be our sit-up option. If that's too difficult, as I come up, I can use my hands on my legs to finish that sit-up. So fifth and final round, we are doing all movements. 10 burpees, 25 push-ups, 50 lunges, 100 sit-ups, and last but not least, we're gonna be doing 150 air squats. So feet are underneath the shoulders. I'm driving those knees out, not letting them cave in. Shoulders are back, butt goes back first, and then I'm gonna squat down below parallel, stand trying to drive that chest upright the whole time. Cool? Hero workouts are notorious for being difficult. So as it starts to get hard and you feel that burden in your legs, or in your abs, or in your arms, or wherever you're feeling it, just remember that this is to commemorate someone's life. So I hope that you guys had a great workout today. You had some fun, a little bit of remembrance, I hope you like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you guys on Friday for when we drop our first vlog style. So take care and see you soon.